think everybody should go one by one and give you the, they list, and then you let them know how many got right or wrong. But collect the pencils so that way nobody writing as everybody else naming out. I must cheat bad. <laughs> 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 Almost afternoon, it is your girl Lee Marie here, and I'm coming to you guys with a little vlog. So, today I am hosting my first event. It is a Valentine's Day brunch. Y'all can see the little balloons up and around. So, I'm going to give y'all a little tour of what my setup looks like. I'm still I'm still in the process of cooking, but you know, people are going to be late. So, I'm going to just give y'all a little tour. It is a pajama slash loungewear theme where pink or red but yeah let's get into this setup so over here we have the um it's going to be a little eating table and i have a flyer that is sharing the activities that we will be doing put some little flowers up here we got balloons going on around up here found this cute Cute little balloon from um, Pop Chef. So cute. More little balloons over here. This is our little spread. So we're going to have fruit assortment over here. Yogurt is going to go here. Have granola and honey. Cookies. The cake is going to go here. As you can see, take a piece of love. Um, here we're going to have hash browns. We're going to have egg bites. French toast casserole. And then... Our meats will go here, and then this is our little Valentine's Day brunch menu. Happy Valentine's Day. Over here is the mimosa bar, so we have champagne here, um, drinks, limes, and lemons, and this is a non-alcoholic drink because I'm not doing alcohol this year, so this is our little mimosa bar, and I actually found that from Amazon. Then over here is more activities as you can see i made self care jars for all the girls and then we have per personalized envelopes so you can write a personalized note to yourself when you're down in the dumps and this is basically just our the instructions as far as the self care jar goes so this is what we currently got going on i'm about to finish um cooking and get everything set up and i will see you guys later First, I want to thank you all for participating in my Galentine's brunch. I hope everything is amazing. 
me and my niece put our little heart and soul in this setup and also the food and i also put a lot of thought into our activities so i hope you guys enjoy it i'm going to bless the food before we start so if everybody can bow your heads dear god first and foremost thank you for waking us up today thank you for the traveling mercies of my friends who traveled near and far to participate in my galentine's brunch um god i ask that you bless the hands that prepare the food it may be nourishment to our bodies. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Dig in. Um, mimosa bar over here. This is non-alcoholic for those who don't want any alcohol. And then, of course, champagne. Um, lemon and limes. And make yourselves at home. Yay. And then if you want water or anything, I put three bottles out. But I can pull out some more uh, waters as well. The <laughs> alcohol. somebody else let's say Quashon to get one but she really wanted one special has then you get to you have the opportunity to take special perfume if okay. you win the game if you win this game okay, okay. 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 so that's what it is all right all right so y'all ready well, now. Now. <laughs> you know <laughs> i know i'm like, terrible with names don't be on what you trying to google uh -uh. Uh -uh. And what's I'm what's the sure. thing where you can turn it on? Is it Zay? 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 Don't be scared. Like what's this song? Right. Cheat. Right. Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. All right. I ain't gonna look it up. My name is Cupid Valentino. The Martin Bay Cupid. And I just want to say one thing. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay. <laughs> is this universal for everybody to know, or these just your songs you know? No, this is universal. Mm -hmm. I don't think nobody knows that song. Two songs. We had but three I don't know songs. the name of it. Yeah, we, we had, had ten. Songs. We already had three. 
Yeah, yeah we already had two. Well, I paused it, so we had two, but I moved. Oh, okay. Oh, because I was like, well, where are we? Oh, wait. I got three songs. Where do you get three songs from? She put whatever you think it is, or because if somebody don't have anything, but you have something close to it, then. Y'all ready? Mm -hmm. I guess, Chad. We gonna play that again, right?
You said you read it, you wrote it wrong. Yeah, I don't know. I know what it is, but I don't know. I don't know the titles of this stuff. I just sing the song. <laughs> I think everybody should go one by one and give you their list, and then you let them know how many got right or wrong. But collect the pencil so that way nobody writing as everybody else naming it out. I must cheat bad. <laughs>
Dang, Shakira. It's 7 out of 10. Uh, no, extra credit don't count. <laughs> I got eight extra credit. Extra credit in your point. Well, I missed that because I said my baby is sick. Mm-hmm. Why you um, want one? Okay. So this next activity is called self-care jar with a twist. As you can see, I made everybody a self-care jar. It's going to do, y'all have pens, but then there's extra pens right there if you want to use them. And this jar is the little strips. So you're going to take an empty jar, you're going to um, take some strips and you write down your favorite self-care activities or something that you may have always wanted to do. Go get a full body massage or a full day at a spa or treat myself to Ruth Chris or maybe buy yourself a gift, whatever self-care looks like to you. You're going to fill your jar up and then these little envelopes, you're going to write a little personalized note to yourself. So. Whenever you're feeling down in a dump, just write like some, a little pick me up and then sign it XOXO Leia or XOXO special. And then you're going to put that inside your jar. Hopefully it fits. If not, then um, I got ribbon so we'll be able to tie it around. And then what we're going to do once everybody finish their jars and seal it, you're going to swap it with the person across from you. So hopefully y'all put some good stuff in your jars. So you really won't know what's in your jar until you're having a bad day and you go in there, you read the letter, it'll be a pickup message maybe from special to help you on your bad day and then you'll just pull out a little strips and read what the activity is and that's what you do. So make sure you fill them up so they can go in. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. How many y'all got so far? Three. 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 We can do five. <laughs> yeah, because then you, yeah. Uh, you said what? I'm going to say somebody going to get her 10. Because <laughs> I want the person to have love. Look at those toes. Get a pedicure, sis. you have and then Shakira was the winner so if you see one that somebody has then you can say yeah that. Okay. 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 <laughs> once upon a time there was a young Cupid named Cupid. Cupid was not the most graceful flyer and he certainly didn't have the sharpest aim but that did not discourage him. Cupert's one and only dream was to help two lonely people find their right soulmate and live happily ever after. Valentine's Day was right around was right around the corner, which meant it was the right time for Cupert's first assignment. His mission was to help a beautiful young woman find her Mr. Right. Cupert watched as the young lady right walked right into a coffee shop. It wasn't long until a handsome young man 
Didn't you no. say right? You I have been. I have been. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it wasn't long until a handsome young man approached the coffee shop door. It was him, her Mr. Wright. <laughs> Cupid couldn't believe his luck. He had found her match so quickly. All that was left for Cupid to do was to shoot his arrow when the young man was looking at the woman and they had fallen in love. But before he could take aim, the young lady left the coffee shop. Cooper was in a panic. He couldn't fail his first assignment. He'll, he'd have to wait for the right moment to try again. The young woman continued on her walk, stopping to say hello to her friend. Right at the very moment, the young man left the coffee shop and was walking right towards her. Cupert <laughs> quickly reached for an arrow and took aim, but the arrow whooshed right past the man and disappeared in a poop of magic as it hit the ground. The man continued walking right past the young woman and her friend towards the park. Again, Cupert missed his chance to make these two fall in love. He knew that he'll have to get it right the next time or they'll never fall in love. Cupid watched as the young woman said her goodbyes to her friend and left in the same direction the man went. <laughs> and maybe Cupid could still help these two find each other. It's almost over. Cupid followed the young woman as she sat down on a bench and took a book from her bag. But where was the man? Cupid fell, flew all around the park searching for the man destined to fall in love with the young woman. Cupid flew right past the lake. Cupert flew left towards the park entrance. He flew right around in circles <laughs> with no sight of the man. Feeling disappointed, Cupert returned to right where he had left the young woman reading her book. But to his surprise, she was not alone. In fact, the young man Cupert was looking for was sitting right next to her. They were laughing and chatting about books. Cupert reached right around for an arrow but stopped. The young couple looked so happy, but the young couple looked so happy. Cupid knew they had found love on their own, even without his magical arrow. Cupid was delighted to watch the two people find each other and fall in love. The young woman found her Mr. Right after all. And even though things didn't go quite right, Cupid felt accomplished and was ready for his next assignment. Discretion and it's worth one point. 
A player may challenge a card by stating their case as to why they feel differently. If there is a uni unanimous agreement on that player's letter choice and alternative reasoning, that player earns two points. If the challenge is not unanimously agreed with, that player loses a point. One round consists of ten cards. I don't think we played it. Wrong answers. We ain't gonna take a shot. Yeah. It says wrong answers. Take a shot. Every card. No. I ain't got no. Playing so I had to take a shot. Mm -hmm. Or losers. Jamie was sober. Did we play this game? <laughs> or losers take a shot per round if the room is full of lightweights. It's okay to be a lightweight and joy. Question. She says, hey babe, can I see your phone? He says, why? Your phone does everything mine does. Is he a F boy? Yeah. Period. <laughs> yeah. What's the other answer? It's yes, no, it depends. Yes. Yes. Yeah, he is. So the answer is it. Hold on, what y'all say? Tell us He's a right. Yeah. Well, what we should choose. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is it depends. Huh? Oh, On what? It says wanting to know why is a valid question. If you need to make a call, a it shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> if you yeah. want to look through his phone, he should then want to talk about why that is and get to the root of what has you curious. But if he just says no, okay. No matter what the reasoning, your F4 radar should be sounding But she ain't asked to look at it. She's a smart response. Your phone doesn't look like I'm going to try. All right, that's oh, the error. Oh, yeah. Can I hold it? Okay. She ain't going to let me go through your phone. She said, can I, I see your phone? She done got problem calls right. to go through. <laughs> you tell him that if he wants you in his life, he'll have to treat you right. He responds, well, if you want to leave, I can't stop you. F boy. What? Yeah. <laughs> Why she saying the pin? Who said it the pin? Oh, oh she asked you what the answer is. Say, F boy. F boy. Yeah. Jamie, you ain't answer. You thinking? Oh. Uh, F boy. Lennox. Okay. <laughs> it <laughs> says. <laughs> it says it depends. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get I this game from? A man made this. It says no. This isn't an elf boy, but he clearly doesn't want you anymore. Men don't freely let go of anything or anyone that they want to that stay, mm -hmm. even if they've done everything deserving of losing it. Okay, that makes sense. So what's the elf boy then? Do we give it, us a definition to no. help us get through the game? Because, <laughs> mm -mm. I mean, what's that if it won't? His girlfriend comes back from a bathroom break while at dinner with her boyfriend. She sees another woman slip her boyfriend her number and then leave the boyfriend Hold on, and then leave. The boyfriend said and did nothing. She says, why didn't you tell her you were taken? He says, I didn't want to hurt her feelings. Is he, is he or is he not a fuckboy? Not really. So he didn't do anything like take you. He ain't say nothing to her. He ain't carried he up. Just, he could have told her. Took up and that was it. I, was, um, I don't know. Yeah. I would say no. Mm -hmm. yeah. He just. Because yeah. I probably would have did some things. He's simp. He's an empath. I ain't want to hurt him. I didn't want to cause a scene. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. So y'all y'all saying no? Yeah. yeah. He's not a fool. Okay. So the answer is he is. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> and it says anytime a man is more concerned about saving another woman's feelings, overprotecting his own woman's feelings, okay. he's a fuckboy. Yeah. Okay. That's shocking. I thought it was compared right. to the other ones. Right. Yeah. Right. Like, right. The other ones they won't. But definitely. maybe you're right. <laughs> A man made a this. Man. Yeah. Yeah, they're trying to mind. They're trying to play mind games. Right. <laughs> that don't make no sense. You ask your man, "What's the one thing I have taught you?" He says that looks ain't everything. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what are you trying to say? Is the door. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's it. Is he one or not? <laughs> Dang, he might just be honest. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm uh, honest. <laughs> <laughs> I don't so know. So you think I ain't cute? I don't know what to say about with this game because we said the guy mm -hmm. last one want one and they said he was. So I'm yeah, confused I now. Yeah, I'm gonna say because he can't say your personality one be on. Yeah, right. 
So that would be an independent. <laughs> like, mm-hmm. But that's no man. Like, <laughs> there's so many beautiful women right. outside. Mm-hmm. This is see. It depends. This okay. is as close to a backhanded compliment as you can get without actually turning the hand around. More like a side-handed compliment, but a compliment nonetheless. Mm-hmm. If he's dealt with women in the past who were just pretty, and now you offer more than that, his response is justified. He could do better with his words going forward, but charge to his head, not his heart, for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> for now. Right. Done. Because I would be like, what's that supposed right. to be? Am I ugly? <laughs> I'm a roll on the floor, ever let a roll on me. Spit this one down the middle, wake like up in a harmony. A clamps. <laughs> y'all so i am back just doing a little check-in the Valentine's day event is over as you can see it is empty in here now i done started cleaning everything up my friends helped me put everything away i'm about to finish taking out this trash and probably figure out what i'm wearing tonight i'm going to this no skip event um, we are listening to the chris browns debut album so it's gonna be a dope event chill vibes listening to music coloring and stuff like that so i am gonna take you guys along with me to that little event i need to charge my camera because it's about to go dead this is the second battery but overall the Valentine's day event was let me get y'all somewhere where i can see overall the Valentine's day event it was good turned out great everybody loved the food we had a good time with the games <laughs> once they found out who wrote the game kind of figured out why we kept getting all the answers wrong overall it was a great event thank you to all my friends that came and for those that could make it you were definitely missed i will definitely do another event i don't know when because hosting is not for the week it was a lot that went into this and i'm thankful to my niece jocelyn for coming up to help me sit up she came up the night before because if i would have had to do all of this by myself uh, i don't know i am considering catering next time or getting somebody to cook because it was a lot trying to sit up and cook and decorate so yeah um we're gonna see what that looks like but overall it was a great time my friends had a great time and i'm thankful for them and yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this little video and let me know in the comments what you think so i will see you guys later i'm about to finish cleaning up or organizing and i will get back with you guys when we get ready to head to the event so bye A fit check before we head out. It's dark. I just got the light. I got the light, but I don't want it to be too bright on everybody. <laughs> Don't, they still trying to figure us out to me.
Yeah. 